Hi, my name is Jason Toll from Simon Fraser University and I'd like to speak to you today about the Educational Technology Users Group and our upcoming workshop on October 28th called The Little Workshop of Horrors. We're asking people to submit their scary stories of failure. And as I realize that this is not the easiest thing for some people to do, I thought I would submit my own video proposal and challenge others in the community to share their stories along with me. The year was 2007 and there was a buzz in the ed tech community about a new hot topic, Second Life. Second Life was a 3D immersive environment that you could go to online and interact with other people that were also in the space. And we were curious within teaching and learning what could be done to bring this into the classroom. What could possibly go wrong? So my role in the teaching center at the time was experience designer. So it was my job to project manage this whole thing and to do demos and workshops and show people how this new technology worked and what we had designed and built. But this one time in particular, things went very sideways. So I'm going through my regular dog and pony show. I've got a keen group of faculty lined up. I'm showing them on the screen behind me all the wonders of Second Life, um, how to navigate through the space, how to move from room to room. But then I'm also showing them how easily it was to create a custom identity or an avatar in this world, even to the extent of becoming uh, cartoon characters or animals, which was weird. So I've turned the avatar to face my audience and I'm sort of giving a breakdown anatomically. I'm in a full frontal position and I'm showing them how easily it is to drag items such as hair and clothing from your inventory over onto the avatar. Something went wrong with one of my drag and drop procedures. In that moment, I removed all the clothing from the avatar. Fortunately, the night before, I had gone shopping for a super sweet, what they called skin, and he had five o'clock shadow. There were details, texture, freckles on his face, I had hair on my arms, details, nipples. And in removing the clothing, what I did not realize at the time, that everything below the waist was Ken doll. It was plastic. And the last thing I remember hearing was a voice at the back of the room. Well, I guess that answers that. Thank you. <laughs> I'm mortified already. Join us at ETUG, October 28th.